Hello beans. So today I'm going to do a flip through of my new bullet journal, which at the time of this recording, I've only been in it for about a week and a half or two weeks. So there's not a lot in it. So this is going to be a pretty short video, but I wanted to show you um, what I'm working with now because I showed you previously what my old bullet journal was and there have been a lot of changes in my new one. The biggest is I'm back to a kind of traditional like A5 size, um, whereas before I had an almost full size notebook, um, which I really enjoyed. Um, and I wasn't purposely planning to go back to a smaller notebook, but I had bought this notebook to uh, use to make Dutch doors in my other one. And you can see in that video, there were two Dutch doors that were taped in that were like this type of paper. Um, and that was the last page from this journal. So I didn't end up using as many Dutch doors in that bullet journal as I expected. Um, and so when I got to the point of needing to think about changing to a new bullet journal, I realized that I had this, this notebook, which is perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, and I didn't need to buy another one because I had this one. <laughs> so that's why I decided to go with this. Um, so I put a sticker on the front that says vision. Um, and then here I have, um, my name and then this is going to be like an intro page. Um, I wanted to write like a intention or a productivity like blessing or prayer on this page as a kind of like intention setting for the whole journal. Um, and I haven't done that yet because I haven't found one that I like and I haven't had the time um, or the ability to sit down and kind of focus on writing one. Um, but I did put a sticker in here um, that says it's the journey, not the destination. So then we jump straight into my future log for the last half of uh, 2022. Most of this I just copied straight from my old journal because I already had these months in the old one. Um, but obviously since then I've been filling it in. And then we jump straight into July. Um, I didn't decide to do any pre-made collections or spreads or lists um, that I might have done like at the beginning of the year or something because um, I just didn't want to pressure myself to put a bunch of pages in that I usually don't end up using anyway. Um, so we just jumped straight into July um, with my monthly. Then I always use pencil um, for just the monthly overview uh, because if my plans change or I need to rearrange things or I need to do something on a different day, um, I prefer to just erase it and then rewrite it where I need to instead of having a bunch of things that are like scratched out. That really annoys me. Um, so that's just something that I've done for years and years is my monthly overview page I write in pencil. And then I had a little bit of extra space on the side. So these are almost like weekly notes or weekly to do's, um, things that I might need to do in a given week, but don't need to be assigned to a specific day or I'm not sure where I'll have time to do it. So I just write it there. So I'll remember that that needs to be done on that week. And then I have a quote down here, which is actually from a Stray Kid song. And the line says, no need to filter your flaws. Then I jump into my other monthly lists and in my old bullet journal, then these and this would have been on the same page because how big the pages were. Um, but obviously in this one, I didn't have enough room. So it's split to this page. So I have my monthly trackers. So I have habit trackers and some of these aren't always habits and things that I need to remember to do every day, but sometimes they're just things that I want to track how often I do them. Um, and then I have this graph where I track my sleep, my mood, and my energy. Um, sleep is blue, and that's number of hours. And then mood is green, and then energy is pink. Um, and I actually only have five through 10, because if I get below a five, I'm in trouble. <laughs> um, so I've done this sort of graph tracker for quite a while now. Um, and that's very essential to me. Um, very often I can see when my sleep, I've been able to get nine or 10 hours of sleep. Um, then my, 
my energy and my mood will spike. Um, you know, if I'm not feeling well, if I'm feeling sick and then I'm not able to sleep well, then they go down. So it's, and, and a lot of times you can see the correlation of these two, what I may or may not have been able to do, um, for my daily habits. Um, so that's something that I really enjoy doing. And it's just something I do as my morning routine is always go and color in what I did the previous day. Um, so those are my habit trackers. And then I have my monthly lists, um, the budget open-ended as always because I fill that in later. And then to do, I have my paychecks because I got paid three times in July. And so I wanted to pay attention to what those were and make sure I divided up my uh, my expenses correctly. Um, I have a blank box that I haven't needed to assign yet. And then I have a box for next month. Um, and I like to have that every month um, to just be able to write things down real quick or just remember, oh yeah, I have this appointment or I have this event or I have this whatever going on next month. Um, so it's in front of me and I don't forget it. So this was our first weekly and this was last week. Um, I mentioned in my previous video with my old bullet journal that when I try to change my weekly layouts, it takes forever for me to find one that I like and that works for my brain. Um, and I did not anticipate how frustrating it would be to have to find a new weekly layout that worked for me in a new bullet journal. I can't go back to my other one and be like, oh, well, this didn't work. I'll just try the other one. I can't because of the size of this journal. Um, so I started with this really open, uh, lots of space. Um, and at first I hated it and I felt like I could not visualize my schedule. I felt like I had no idea what was going on, even though not very much was going on and I was fine. I felt like I couldn't visualize it because my brain hadn't like checked into like, this is what it looks like. And then about halfway through the week, I'm like, actually, this is pretty cool. This, I think this works. But unfortunately I had already prepped these weeks <laughs> for the next two weeks. Um, because I thought I would like this back here when I was like, oh my word, I hate this. Let's try something else. I pre-made these. And then we got to the end of last week and I'm like, wait, I like the big one. And now I have to suffer through two of these weeks where they're smaller, but it's not too bad. Um, I am used to smaller squares because of how I did my dailies and weeklies in my old bowl journal. Um, so it's not too bad. Um, it's just different. And I am going to be going to Realm Makers um, this week. Um, so this one, I really won't be using my bullet journal as much because I'll, I'll be traveling. Um, so it's not too bad, but I think I'm definitely gonna switch back to this one again and just see if it works. Um, if not, I have a couple other um, layouts that I'm gonna give it a try. It's just until I figure out one that works, I'm stuck with something I don't like. So this is my Realm Maker schedule for this year um, in my other bullet journal. Then if you watched it, then you saw that every year then I go to Realm Makers and I write down my personal schedule for the conference. Um, so I have this and we are in uh, Atlantic City, New Jersey this year, literally right on the beach. The hotel is literally on the beach. And so I drew this with a little hotel convention center and the beach and the little sunset. This is our... Uh, this is kind of like my to do's before I leave, uh, things I need to remember to pack and buy before I go. And then I haven't filled these in yet. Um, but just information that I might need while we're, um, driving or while we're away. The only thing I don't like about this page is I wish I had either used this tape or the sticker, but not together. Um, cause I feel like they clash. Um, but that's fine. Um, so anyway, that's all I have so far. Um, cause I've only been in this bullet journal for a few weeks now. Um, but I am enjoying it. It's different. You know, I was in my other journal for like three years and I did literally the same thing every month and every once in a while I would try something new, but it didn't work for me. So I just go back to the old stuff. Um, so it's a challenge and it's kind of exciting. It's different to have to find something new to work and freshen everything up. Cause I don't have the option to just go back to what I've always done. Um, and it's smaller, so it's a little more portable. Um, and the pages are smaller, so I have to put kind of like less per page instead of having the big pages where I can just put like tons of stuff. Um, so I am enjoying it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little flip through. Um, and I'm sure I'll do more later on, probably at the end of the year, so you can see more of what's going on. Um, but I really do enjoy showing uh, the creative things that I do on my uh, kind of just day to day life. So anyway, uh, remember that you're a beautiful creature and I love you. Bye.